In this video, we're going to take a look at the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B and what you need to get up and running. So let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like. At the heart of the Pi 3 is the new Broadcom BCM2837 chipset, boasting a 64-bit 1.2GHz quad-core ARM53 processor. This chipset also integrates wireless LAN 802.11 BGN, as well as dual-mode Bluetooth Classic version 4.1 and Bluetooth Smart Low Energy. This makes it ideal for many more applications than before. So let's take a look at what you need to get up and running. Firstly, let's put in the operating system. You're going to need to download the latest copy of Noobs, either from the Raspberry Pi website or update the one you have already for your Raspberry Pi 2. Just remove that from the holder. We'll put that in. Next, let's connect up the keyboard and the mouse. Just put this in one of the available USB slots. Then our HDMI cable to our monitor. Finally, we'll plug in our Raspberry Pi 3 power supply. This is a new power supply specifically for the Raspberry Pi 3. You can use your Raspberry Pi 2 one, but for best results, we suggest you use this one. So we'll plug that in here. To protect your Pi, there's also cases available, like this one. They're very easy to put together. Just pop them in like so. And then you can connect all of your interfaces. And we're ready to go. For further information about getting your Raspberry Pi up and running, please visit www.designspark.com forward slash Raspberry Pi.